Hello, my name is Matt Elliott and I'm a technical marketing engineer at Rubrik. This video will walk through installing and configuring the Rubrik add-on for Splunk. Before you begin, make sure you have access to Splunk Base and that you've already installed the dataset add-on. Once that's complete, log into Splunk and browse for apps. The Rubrik add-on for Splunk consists of two components, so let's install the first one. Search for Rubrik and install the add-on that is shown in the results. Enter your Splunk base credentials when prompted and install the add-on. Once installation is completed, you will be prompted to restart the Splunk server. You will need to download the Rubrik Splunk application, so while your Splunk server is restarting, take a moment to open the Rubrik add-on for Splunk GitHub repo in another browser or tab. Click on the app folder, then rubrik.spl, then download and save the file. After you've downloaded the Rubrik application from GitHub, log back into Splunk and browse to the Manage Apps page. Click on Install App from File and choose the file you just downloaded. Click Upload and this will install the application. The Rubrik app now shows up in your list of applications. Click Launch App, then click on Configuration. Here we will configure credentials to access our Rubrik CDM cluster. Notice I configured two sets of credentials for separate clusters. After credentials are configured, click Logging and verify that the log level is set to the desired value. The info level should provide enough information for most users. Now we will configure inputs, which are used to pull logs and data into Splunk for processing. Click on Input in the top bar to open the input screen. You will configure four new inputs to pull data from Rubrik CDM and one optional input if you want to pull data from the Rubrik Polaris platform. This process involves copying values from the Quick Start Guide and pasting them into the Splunk GUI. Click on Create New Input. Here I am configuring the Rubrik Runway remaining input based on values provided in the Quick Start. Notice that I am renaming the input to match my cluster name. I'll speed up configuring the remaining inputs to save time. Once you've completed setting up inputs, click on search in the top bar and verify that values are showing up in the what to search box. If you're not seeing any values here, wait a few moments. If you don't see values show up after a few moments, double check your rubric CDM credentials. The next step is to configure datasets, which is very similar to creating inputs. Click on the app menu and choose the rubric app. Click on datasets, then create new table dataset. Click on the magnifying glass icon to allow you to enter a search string. Copy the search string from the Quick Start Guide, paste it into the search bar, and click on the search button. In the search results, select the field specified in the Quick Start Guide, then click Done. The dataset preview page is now displayed. Click Save As and paste in the value specified in the Quick Start Guide. I'll speed up creating the remaining datasets. Configuration for the rubric add-on for Splunk is now complete. 
Click on Dashboards in the top to view the included dashboards and enjoy all the goodness that the combination of Rubrik and Splunk has to offer. Please file any issues or feature requests via GitHub or reach out to us on Twitter with questions. Thanks.